Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back guys to Europe 1100. So what happened? We've got a bit of a problem again. I think our alley is currently under attack yet again. So what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna go and sort this out. Um, so here, if you go to the alley, there is going to be under attack yet again in four days. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go jump in there go to our alley and there is an option here to confront whoever this is uh, about this attack let's see what that does I've never done this before let's have a look oh we actually talk to him okay well 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 I wasn't expecting to see you there there must be some little birds informing you about my plans that won't change anything though I'll crush you <laughs> yes yes you surely will uh, yeah bring it on yeah right uh, let's see how that's gonna play out i guess we're gonna resolve it through violence again aha uh -huh, there we are okay so i've got my men oh i'm in full gear wow okay yes i don't know i don't know uh, what are they trying to achieve here um against my armed fully armed and armored men there you go is that it yeah that was it that was it that was somewhat underwhelming okay right right okay okay you have succeeded in defending your alley against the attack you might want to leave some troops in order to compensate for your losses i would if i had any losses let's actually talk to hyena here see if he's got any hell any need i could use some more troops not yet my lord let us inspect your troops anyway yeah he's got some you know he's got a thug here he's okay he's okay he's doing okay i can give him maybe one or two but i think actually well why don't we give him there there you go have one of these fellas low tier that should do it for now right there's a problem with deserters uh, at belgrade i'm not sure i've ever done this quest guys let's see Sorry, what this is all about Right, I heard that you might need some help. Yes. Well, if you know how to fight, yes, we could use help. A group of deserters is camped out, okay, near. They come every week demanding stuff. They kill two villagers. Okay. Yes, how can I help? The plan is we lay ambush in the village. When they show up, we spring. Okay, all right, yeah, let's see. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Let's see, I don't think I've ever done this. So I think I just need to wait here, I suppose. Ah, here they come. Here they come, here they come. All right. Oh, wow, look at this advantage. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll just send some troops. I can't be bothered, um, honestly. Yeah, zero casualties on our side. 78% of loot. Okay, that sounds good. Some prisoners, too. And look at this fine eastern leather boots and other bits and bobs. And we have a round C2. Nice. Nice. Thank you very much. So that is done. Return back. Oh, I need to return to talk to him. Do I, I don't even know what he was promising me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's handy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. 3,000. Not a bad deal and relations increase as well okay a courier arrives bearing a message from eric the first he remarks on your growing reputation and asks you if you consider pledging yourself as a vassal of the eric uh, the eric <laughs> he should you should speak in person okay uh, hang on who is eric let's see uh eric the first of clan is it denmark is it oh yes it is okay right part of denmark so they have no wars none of the sort mm, interesting interesting so they have a couple of castles copenhagen or whatever that is they have as well let's see where it is here although i do probably know where it is uh yeah okay now the travel here is going to be a pain i suppose fairy points but i can bring my ship around can't i actually i would need to exit Black Sea, I would need to exit Mediterranean, which I hope I'll be able to do and sail all the way around. Could be an interesting proposition, actually. Nordic, Nordic culture, not that dissimilar to our own. In fact, Rurik's, they are Swedish by origin. Hmm, okay, something to 
uh, to consider, to, uh, to uh, think about. All right, an exciting news. Finally, I have enough building points. I can build a massive tent and I'm just thinking where to place it. Probably going to place it here, not too far from the spawning place, uh, just around here somewhere. Yeah, and then I can build more tents for my troops as well. And then we can expand this camp, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. There you go. So there's one right here. Fantastic. Let's have a look at it from the far. Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too far from my men. Not too close. <laughs> oh, look, there's a bit of a wind going as well. Oh, such dirty sheets though. But hey, let's see. Can I build more actual tents for my men as well? So that we have uh, some more soldiers stationed here, basically. So we don't want such a big one anymore. What we want is the smaller ones smaller Vlandian ones let's see if we can turn it around to see, yeah to face the center here like so yeah that should probably do it there you go okay there's one more so hopefully that will give us room for more men more soldiers actually I can have more I can have more let's give one more let's get like in a semicircle of sorts let's do that so we'll place one more tent yeah somewhere around here why not there you go okay right let's see now how many men we can actually place in this uh, garrison here manage garrison oh still five only five okay maybe need some time i'm not sure but we reached tier one as you can see which is fantastic there are two, uh, three all together and the money look how much money we've got now we put a thousand there uh, to begin with so now we tripled it and also if you look at the stash yeah this keeps increasing so amount of goodies that produced are going up which is good to see oh finally i can put more troops here 15 now let's do just that let's give her uh, all this lower ranking men to begin with and then we'll see what else can be done here actually this is my homestead isn't it i want probably the best of my men to defend it so that is probably the better logic let's just get all of these guys out yeah because all i've got is actually essentially stored in this place now uh more most of it anyway uh oh these are actually yeah yeah these are mounted so let's give them that crusader spearman 2 14 and what else can i give him i don't want to give him uh mounted troops oh here yeah two of these will do just fine so yeah that's great so the homestead is actually growing yeah let's have a look so we spawn right here there's a tent there's a naked one of my undressed men so there's four tents here and there's a huge tent here this is my tent and in fact someone's sleeping in there let's go and have a look who is napping in my tent oh there's a whole bunch of them hey guys you all right uh yeah there's one two scratching their asses <laughs> hilarious okay so it's a full-on full-on so we have yeah i'm potentially thinking if i have any more building points left i'm not sure maybe i can start building a second row and actually vegetation grows guys did you notice uh, did you know that vegetation grows i don't know if they, these trees will go away it depends on the season or what have you if you know please do let me know i did not know that the maps are interactive uh to that to such an extent that the trees grow uh, is that according to season or how does that work? Let me know, please, if you're aware of what this feature is all about, please. And I wanted potentially more tents. Oh, what is that? Butcher's tent. Oh, wow, that is great. Musi oh, musician. I can finally have a musician here. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, let's place a musician. Where can we place a musician's tent? Don't want to go close to the fields. Uh, at the same time don't want to go too far off yeah that's great musician and butcher can have a year as well how exciting is that uh like musician where do you want to leave let me actually mount my horse and we'll have a look okay why don't we just place it here between these two farms i'll just put him here for now and then we'll sort it out later i think it's fine it's fine as it is there you go so now we have a musician butcher tent that is something new so let's place it as well well, this is going to be a whole towns here, a town developed here soon, which is fantastic, isn't it? So butcher's tent, uh, we don't want it perhaps too close to us. Let's just place it right directly here next to this farm. And then I can expand, maybe we build one more hog and one more sheep farm too. 
but so far so good guys let's place a butcher's tent right here somewhere in the middle ish there you go yeah big place now big place in fact yeah let's leave it for now now let's leave it for now let's have a look so yeah manage let's see so we tier one and let's manage the stash so i have six already enough i think you need six for a new farm this hogs i don't remember it's a four or a six but yeah i have plenty there i can actually start being, building fences and such as well so i have linen i have yeah production is growing look how much fish we've got i think i'm gonna start taking some actually and maybe selling it potentially I don't think we produce any of the butter. No, we should produce from milk, right? Cheese as well. So all of this will come from milk, from, I don't know, from sheep. <laughs> God, we have milk, uh, meat production, I think for sure. Don't have olive production, so I will leave it as it is. But other than that, yeah, I don't know if they produce fish, but we have so much and we probably gave them some. Grain should be produced as well, and so is flax. I'll take some actually, I'll go and sell it. That sounds great. Yeah, so we see we have 15 men here now, which is fantastic. We're making also a lot of money with the trading caravan here. You see it's 808, so that makes a, a lot of money. And Ali makes a little bit, you know, that's okay. Every little counts, doesn't it? Every little helps. Oh, wow, flux is actually decent prices, I think. And so is butter. Wow, let's, yeah, let's sell some of that stuff we carry. Uh, let's sell all of that. Uh, meat, nah, not so much. Cheese is okay. Can sell some cheese too. Yeah, not bad. 600. Yeah, that's all right. All in day's work. Oh, look who I found here. Incy the Swift. She's got roguery, which is great, but also trade. That's what I needed. So let me see if I can actually have her in my company. I think I should have a room for at least, yeah, at least for one more. And... Am I going to get, yes, additional companion if I reach level 4, that way I can maybe get myself an engineer. I think I'm going to hire her and maybe create another caravan. Hello, now, hello, hello, my lady. Yes, you are a merchant of some sort. I don't doubt that. Yes, there you go. All right. Great. So what I can do now is perhaps equip her and then, yeah, have another caravan roaming the map. We shall think about that. Right, let's go to Vladimir. This is a city. Let's go and see if we can actually get a caravan here from this place. Oh, Relations 6, and she's a merchant. Let's it's talk to her. Hire. Yes, hello. I wish to form a caravan, please. Yes, accept these conditions, and I'm ready to pay. Yes, let's do that. And let's get this Incy the Swift. Yes, please. Fantastic. So we should now have two caravans out in the field making money already one from vladimir one one from um, kiev yeah great great so making money oh and she already gained a skill in scouting and is now 10 which is great very very helpful skill to have ah it's interesting what happened here so i've built this tent for a butcher and look what happened the hogs are all gone now so they must have been butchered now and turned into meat okay so if you don't want your hogs turning into meat then probably don't build this butcher shop I'm not sure if the same will happen to ship. We shall see. Would, wouldn't be too bad, actually. They produce maybe some wool would be nice to have as well. Yeah, not, not too bad. Yeah, so here we are. Yeah, potentially I can always build, uh, you know, more hawk farms and such. Oh, look, the music uh, musician is here now. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's supposed to, by the way, yeah, supposed to keep up the morale. Ah, that's great, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, let's go see what this butcher shop looks like. Oh, yeah, there's a butcher there. Butcher is busy doing his butchering work and picking his ears or whatever. <laughs> looks great. Looks absolutely great. So we have some sheep, we have some hog. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I'll build some more farms here and maybe some more flax and maybe some more grain farm on the other side. But before I do any of that, I think I want more tents in this place. I want more soldiers, I want a bit stronger garrison. Oh yeah, we can build more tents. I think I'm going to start building second row of tents just around here. There you go, that's one. There you go, that's another one. So that's going to be a second row. And we, I think, exhausted uh, materials. I don't think we have any more. Let's go and check it out. Manage the homestead. Let's see, food and stash. Yeah, linen, linen is all gone, you see. So we need to go buy some more linen. And then we should be good to go. I think we have plenty of hardwood and everything else. Oh, yes. 
one more sheep has been slaughtered it seems yeah so if i want to establish one more sheep farm and hog farm then i'll need to bring some maybe i'll go and bring some fish some bring and you know build more farming areas here you, you see the morale here is 56 which isn't too bad my morale here currently is 59 so the musician is supposed to um, help with that base 50 personal food variety and all that leisure five here you go extra space 18 total productivity gold is growing nicely 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 and it's only level one now tier one so i'm gonna go find some sheep find some hawk oh there's one right here and maybe build a couple of extra farms okay what is going on now your ally uh, your alley is under attack from neighboring gangs unless you go to their help seven days okay so the alley got attacked again yeah we coming going to be there shortly right let's go to the alley again let's confront whoever needs to be confronted again okay boys charge everybody oh there is more of them this time look at that there is many more of them unfortunately for us so it will be more challenging now this time i think yeah it will be probably more challenging now uh oh it is better enemies now and uh, my men are not great now this time because i have all this um uh, who do i have here some sort of a thugs and such oh boy oh boy oh boy david absolutely wiping the floor with us am i the only one left now there you go okay did we lose this actually we seem to have lost the battle this time 10 against them yeah they were better quality let's see what's going to happen now i'm very curious right you have failed to defend your ally against the attack you have lost the ownership of it okay where is my companion i want to know uh, where is he that is fine i can always come back later uh where is hyena regrouping okay all right well we lost it we lost it i think I'll, I'll come back i don't know if i can be bothered they gave me so little money um yeah i don't know if i still have interest we'll see we'll see but hey that's how it goes let's come back to our uh, little town slash uh slash uh, village yeah 19 now so i'm gonna be adding 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 men here high quality supposedly presume why is this guy the icon shows him as an infantryman actually he is a cavalry so this needs to be changed because he's in fact horse archer of some sort uh, yeah that's very bizarre let's give him forest bandits to her as well i don't want the same thing to happen to this place as happened to our alley yeah alley you see i was withdrawing all the good quality troops leaving some crap behind Um, yeah not not good and that's what happened as a result but i don't think it was worth keeping it anyway it earns you some sort of criminal rating if you, if you know how that works please do let me know but i hope now the hyena will be back hyena seem to have rejoined us let's see oh i can actually upgrade these guys look at that this can be a mercenary yeah let's do that why not yeah hyena is with us now and i'm just wondering if whether i should can i actually have another caravan let's see workshop i can have a workshop i've never thought of that caravans yeah i can have another caravan i suppose parties one out of three caravans yeah it doesn't seem to have any limit here because these alleys were really really not profitable and for workshops and yeah there were just you know this constant attacks attacks and uh, yeah wasn't wasn't something wasn't anything you know to write home about if there would be at least generating you know a lot of money then i would place higher tier troops there and be done with it oh yeah and my income is going through the roof 1500 1600 i get every day from those caravans so that's why i'm thinking maybe i should get another caravan potentially you know why not they making so much money yeah those alleys uh probably not so much and yeah this message about joining Denmark disappeared I don't want to go to Denmark you know I have already my homestead here my village here in this area and relocating it you might probably I think let me know if you know how it works I think you might lose some resources and things like that maybe the tier will go down to zero so it's a rebuilding it just couldn't be bothered really so let's see if I wanted another farmy farm please somewhere around around here next to the butcher's place yeah there you go so let's make it happen there's hog one more and now i want one more sheep please as well and that's a sheep farm for us 
let's turn it around a little bit like so and voila so the business grows the place grows and looks fantastic everything looks great let's see if we can actually build some some more tents I want more soldiers in this place oops oh yes I can I can build one more and that's exactly what we're going to do now uh, there you go yes garrison can now be improved a little bit as well a couple of more men can be stationed here let's give him that oh look at this real yeah real nice nice looking man and let's give him one more crusaders unfortunately don't have one-handed weapon it seems but that's okay there you go so solid uh, tier four four and above type of troops to defend i need to build more tents because i don't want this place to be ransacked by some looters or what have you Incy the swift gain a skill in riding now eight Incy wincy spider fantastic well done girl all right i'm building and building and building so i've got uh, two flux farms now that's gonna be a second one for the grain as well so things looking good looking prosperous i've got many more tents built as well now so this is going to be a proper proper town ish slash village so let's get this uh one more grain farm right about here there you go so two grain we have now we have two hog two sheep we have two flux as well and um, so the business is thriving i might actually build some more and look how many tents we've got now plenty of tents this is my one and yeah there's room for potentially a third row of tents uh, or even fourth one and hello sitting on the <laughs> on the well can i push you in there <laughs> oh, hilarious yeah garrison is now up to 25 let's give them whatever i have on foot that is of decent quality then I'll go around shopping, maybe hiring more men, tier four and above I want, something like this. And stationing them here, 25 men. That's already something to hopefully, hopefully discourage the looters, the bandits and, and the like. In fact, there's a bit of a problem going on in this area here where the hideout is. There is a massive concentration of step bandits. And they are very, very quick. There's nothing I can do about them. There's no way I can catch them. I'm 6.2 at best. So you see what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, an absolute. And their speeds are 5.7 and all the rest of that. And the minimum at night that is. And I still cannot catch it. And during the daytime, yeah, yeah. So a bit of a bandit fest here in the area. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Uh, I spoke to Eric about these naked troops and apparently my loading order was wrong. So let's check it out now guys so there's yeah this guy has been fixed this guy has been fixed it seems uh no okay so some of the issues guys if you have issues like me your loading order might be amiss okay because no one else is apparently reporting this issue i did rearrange my loading order for eric's troops and others and and i still have this issue but not with everybody it seems some troops have improved potentially but some are still uh, refusing getting dressed but <laughs> well, that's okay that's okay so polish dismounted knight crusader foot knight is doing fine oh ooh, we don't want to leave the area oh so that's a limit as to where you can build future buildings okay guys so this is it this is our massive ish nice little village slash homestead we have a butcher now we have a musician and we have lots of tents we're going to be building more we have a huge tent and I've doubled the amount of farming and amount of animal farms as well. And look at this money. We have 5,800 now. Wow. This is making me rich. I will start withdrawing potentially money soon. Okay. That looks good. Oh, we have lean into. Yeah, I'm going to go back and start building more tents, adding more troops. So again guys thank you so much for joining and i shall see you all in the next one